no fire at that time. You know what I would really hate? What? Fire. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fox was most clever, and he tried to think of a way to create fire for the world. One day, he decided to visit Geese Tetl, whose cry he wished to learn how to imitate. They promised to teach him if he would fly with them. So they contrived a way to attach wings to Fox, but cautioned him never to open his eyes while flying. Whenever the geese arose in flight, Fox also flew along with them to practice their cry. On one such adventure, darkness descended suddenly as they flew over the village of the fireflies. Konak. Chica. In mid-flight, the glare from the flickering fireflies caused Fox to forget, and he opened his eyes. Instantly, his wings collapsed. His fall was uncontrollable. He landed within the walled area of the firefly village, where a fire constantly burned in the center. Two kinds of fireflies came to see Father and Fox, who gave each one a necklace of juniper berries, cattle tits. Fox hoped to persuade the two fireflies to tell him where he could find a way over the wall to the outside. They led him to a cedar tree, which they explained would bend down upon command, and catapult him over the wall if he so desired. That evening, Fox found a spring where fireflies obtained their water. There, also, he discovered colored earth, which when mixed with water, made paint. He decided to give himself a coat of white. Upon returning to the village, Fox suggested to the fireflies, Let's have a festival where we can dance and I will produce the music! Uh, okay. They all agreed that would be fun and helped to gather wood to build up a greater fire. Secretly, Fox tied a piece of cedar bark to his tail. Then, he made a drum, probably the first one ever constructed, and beat it vigorously with a stick for the dancing fireflies. Gradually, he moved closer and closer to the fire. Fox pretended to tire from beating the drum. He gave it to some fireflies who wanted to help make music. Fox 
quickly thrusted his tail into the fire, lighting the bark, and exclaimed, It is too warm here for me. I must find a cooler place. Straight to the cedar tree, Fox ran, calling, Bend down to me, my cedar tree, bend down. Down bent the cedar tree for Fox to catch hold. Then up it carried him far over the wall. On and on he ran with the fireflies in pursuit. As Fox ran along, brush and wood on either side of the path were ignited and the sparks dropping from the burning bark tied to his tail. Fox finally tired and gave the burning bark to Hawk. It's old Susie, who carried it to Brown Crane, seeing that soul. He flew far southward, scattering fire sparks everywhere. This is how fire first spread over the earth. Fireflies continued chasing Fox all the way to his burrow and declared, Forever after, Willie Fox, your punishment for stealing our fire will be that you can never make use of it for yourself. For the Apache nation, this too was the beginning of fire for them. Soon they learned to use it for cooking, their food, and to keep themselves warm in cold weather. Allahumma